Hey folks, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryan, and this is The Other Side of the Dash. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryan. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe or the follow button and join the other side of the dash family. Please comment below and give this video or this podcast a thumbs up. So tomorrow is Valentine's Day and today we are doing a special Valentine's Day episode and uh, my wonderful husband here to join me, Gregory. Welcome to the show, Gregory. Thank you. You guys see him on here every now and then. But we're going to play a game that's similar to the Newlywed game. And so our wonderful host over here, Vanna, <laughs> is going to uh, give the questions. We're going to write our answer on the uh, our. We're going to write our answer on our paper. He's red. I'm orange. And we're going to hold him up and see who knows who better. So let's go ahead and get started. How did you first meet your spouse? Ready? Where did you put it? Yeah, so we were both correct. So I put officially and non officially. Non officially, I met him online doing an interview for Nas uh, National Poetry Month, but in person in Atlanta at a conference. So, good job. What did they wear on your first date? <laughs> what did you put? I did have a brown shirt on, but I didn't have on a sh shorts. I had on a blue jean skirt. Oh. And if I can find the picture, I'll, I'll put it here. I thought it was but boost. is this correct? Yeah. So. Yeah. Where did you go on your first date? Ready? I thought we went to the mall first. Wait. Did we go to the mall? I don't even remember the mall. It actually was in College Station. I think we went to the mall first. Then we, because that's where we took the picture, wasn't it? At the, no, we took this tip. We took a picture at the aquarium and at the Coca Cola Center. Oh, we didn't have a mall, a picture of us. In the mall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's unverifiable because neither one of us remember exactly. I remember the aquarium. And the Coca-Cola yeah. Center, yeah. but I do remember us taking pictures in a in a thing in a where booth. you stole a. Okay, so <laughs> nobody, nobody. Yeah, we don't get a picture. <laughs> that. Wow. Describe what you, what you first thought of them in one word. Hmm. <clears throat> You always said that too. <laughs> when did you know they that they were the one? I love you first. <laughs> what did he put? <laughs> no, I. <laughs> no, I didn't. You said it first. 
<laughs> One point for me and zero for him. <laughs> you were just joking, right? No, I, I thought you did. Okay, next. When and where was your first kiss? Ready? Ready. That mall was actually in College Station. Okay. <laughs> so we're still, we're both right. Yeah. But notice I said he snuck it because he did not have permission. Yeah, I stole it. <laughs> I stole it. <laughs> Next. Who is the bear kisser? Ready? <laughs> Half a point for him, one for me. <laughs> I mean, he's not a bad kisser. It's just I'm the better kisser, so. <laughs> Who is the tidiest? Mm. Mm. Ready? Oops. <laughs> okay. okay. But honestly, we both can be sloppy. I'm just a little OCD. I like I'll leave my makeup until later on to go pick, you know, to go put it away. My office, look, my office is always jacked up. So I think we both get a point. <laughs> I think you're neater than me though. You think so? Yeah, you are. Who is the funniest? <laughs> Where'd you put it? I was worried put neither. I put neither. <laughs> I don't think either of us is funny. If you yeah. want to talk about the goofiest, he's the goofiest. Yeah, so she, she is sometimes. I don't think I'm funny. <laughs> Who is their celebrity crush? Right now. Ready? Ready? Ooh, it's Ely. It's not Eli. It's Ely. Ely, whatever the heck his name is. What about this? It, yeah, could be Phyllis High. Okay. So one for each? Yeah. Is there somebody else besides Phyllis Holland? Hyman? No. Not really. Okay. Which one of you is the better driver? Sometimes <laughs> I am all the time. When I'm in the car with him, with him driving, he he gives me a heart attack because I, I'm just I'm just I'm scared when he drives. And she scares me. How do I sometimes. scare you? Sometimes you be just. I'm like, yeah. Look, we're in Texas traffic. You got to get in where yeah. you fit in. You See? can't be like, oh, I'm gonna go smell the days. You gonna get hit. So yeah. <laughs> next one. Who does the most cooking? Okay. It's a chef hat. <laughs> Told me it's the goofiest. <laughs> Who is the best cook? <clears throat> what? <laughs> 
I think, watch I think macaroni and right? cheese better than you. Out of all the dishes in the world, you want <laughs> one dish, really? <laughs> one for me, zero for him. <laughs> really? Stay like and I haven't really made macaroni and cheese, but now since you did that, well, we'll have a contest. We're gonna so have a contest, yeah. and you'll be the taster. Well, she likes anything, so she got to yeah. be a taster. Oh, I'm, I'm picky. Picky. I'm, since when? Yeah, you picky your food up and put it in yeah, your yeah, mouth. That's what you do. <laughs> Go ahead. I can be very picky. Who does the most cleaning? <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, right. <laughs> It looks like a lawnmower. What's your spouse's favorite TV show? Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, we got them both right. <laughs> Still losing. <laughs> what is your spouse's favorite junk food? like those but my favorite ones is like salty chips or something something salty. chips oh yeah. uh cheddar just chip period in yeah, general chips yeah what about this yeah mm. <laughs> what is your spouse's favorite ice cream flavor yes vanilla what is it? It's butter almond. When do we buy butter almond? We don't buy it that much, but it's butter almond or it's butter pecan. It's not vanilla. It's not my favorite. What is your favorite candy bar? I'll give you that. I have a couple, but I'll give you that. I have a couple. What is that? What's the, the picture? I don't know. I'm just doing pictures. It's actually Snickers. It's actually not Snickers. Butterfinger or uh, for me. Almond Joy? Almond Joy. Oh, for you? Oh, it's for Snickers for you? It's actually Snickers. Okay. So we're, we're both wrong. Yeah, we're both wrong. <laughs> Name the best gift they ever gave you. November. It was a German Shepherd oh. named November. What, is, what was yours? Princess. Princess. If you won the, the lottery, what's the first thing you would buy together? Yeah. If your spouse 
dolls had a superpower, superpower, what would it be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know I'm going to miss my point on this one because I don't know. <laughs> You'll be zapping people left and right. You said x ray eye. Okay, so. X ray eye. So, <laughs> now that he's explaining it, that's correct. I would want to be invisible. So I, or I want to be able to zap somebody when they lie, when they cut you off in traffic, when they do something wrong, when they're speeding. I want to zap them. <laughs> and what was that when you said? I put a superhero. Oh, no. I don't know. Yeah. What would you want to be? Uh, what would your parent be? Probably read minds. Okay. You wouldn't want to read mine. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> what would they say your best feature is? Ready? <laughs> you <perv. laughs> You see what I put? Yeah. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I said most of the time. Most of the time. We both get one. <laughs> Who has the worst handwriting? <laughs> we both get a point. Which one of you would win at Cheria Pursuit? Because you would do better in the history because you're a history buff. So. Yeah, it would depend on the time. How does your partner like their eggs in the morning? Mm. Mm. Ready? <laughs> okay. We both get a point for that. So we both like our eggs that way? Yeah. Who is more adventurous? <laughs> Who would win in an eating contest? <laughs> Maybe it'd be a tie. Yeah, I, I, I would. I think I would. Depending on what it Depending is. Depending on what it is. Which of you finishes your meals first? Mm, that's a hard one. Mm -hmm. Point. No. no, that that's a that's a question. That's mm. <laughs> what color are your spouse's eyes? Oh, that was an easy one. <laughs> we both get a point. What was their first job? Weren't you didn't work at the ice cream place? No. You didn't? No. Never. Never. I thought you worked at an ice cream place. No, it must be your other. No. no. And that was my first job. It was? No. What was your first job? It was at the Boardwalk Regency as a bus school. No. My first job was uh working for the um what is that program? When kids turn fourteen they can see them. The Who? Or the manpower or what manpower, but it was a program where kids, when they started for, uh, they turned 14, they can get their first job. I worked at the high school as uh, a cleaning person. Oh. Ice cream shop. I thought you worked at an ice cream shop. 
Who is the better listener? <laughs> what is your spouse's favorite color? It's red, because we had to, we almost had the same color. Red or purple, that's that's my favorite color. He's right, I'm wrong then. <laughs> I know this. Okay. If their spouse needs a lift at 3 a.m., who would they call? Oops. <laughs> yeah, we're both right. What high school did your spouse go to? Remember. <laughs> I don't remember. It's supposed to be Calmer City. What is Calmer City? I don't know. What the Calmer City? Where? What the world? I went to Mont Bella High School Mont in Denver. Mont in Denver. Mont I don't Denver. know what Comer City is. I thought you was in Comer City. What's that other city? Commerce? Commerce? Commerce City. I didn't go to high school in Comer City. Oh. <laughs> Oops. If your spouse were an animal, which would they be? No, I'd be a panther. Oh? A black panther. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one. What's your spouse's best personality trait? That's a trait. <laughs> That's a trait. It's your detail and your timing. I don't know what timing means, but okay. Yeah, Give me an I mean, example of timing. Timing like, uh, or oh, when it's time, like if it's time to go, you ready okay. to go. Oh, it's all like, time. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm not on CP time yeah. most of the time. What's your spouse's worst habit? We can only pick one. <laughs> <laughs> mm. How does your partner take their tea or coffee? Yeah. What is your spouse's ideal vacation? What do you think about yours? Sunny and tropical? Probably, yeah, because I don't know where cold. <laughs> okay. If money were no object, where would you live together? Not North Carolina. <laughs> what I mean? No, that's that's a hard one. You got mine right. Yeah, but not North Carolina. What would it be? Somewhere, probably somewhere tropical, tropical. and sunny. Okay. You know, Florida maybe or um, just somewhere. Well, if warm. money was no object, I'd buy us an island somewhere. That's, that's a, a tropical island. Yes. <laughs> well, folks, we had fun doing this. Um, I think next time we'll get questions that are mo mainly tailored to just us. Those were something I found on the internet. I want to go deeper into our love for each other. So, um, 
Hope you guys had fun. Okay. This was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about us. Yeah. Um, but um, whatever your tradition is for Valentine's Day, um, you know, show the person uh, that you love that you love them. And uh, guys and girls, just telling them that you love them is not enough. It has to be backed up by action. And it doesn't necessarily, so if you, guys stop thinking that girls want these gifts, these lavish gifts. Now there's some that might, but you know, most of us don't want that, you know, clean up the house, do this or that, do something spontaneous, you know, or whatever the case may be, but um, draw her a bath and bathe her feet or something. I mean, but show the one uh, that you love that you actually love them. And I just want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's day. Do you have anything to say? Well, that's it. Um, just um, love the one you're with and truly love that person. I don't know if I would say love the one you're with, Mr. Full Force, but because uh, you know, love the one you're with may not be the one you're supposed to be no, with. I didn't say the one you're supposed to be with might be on the other side of town. I don't say nothing about no temporary love. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, we are showing our age. <laughs> So on that note, please take a moment again to like, subscribe, and share, or follow us if you're listening to the podcast, and uh, leave a comment, and uh, thank you for being here, and we will talk to you guys next time. Have a good one, guys. Bye.